CNC conversion from a manual taking the Buffalo engine lathe that came 32 inches by 8 foot, all with the help of MOF motion. This engine lathe has a capacity of turning 32 inches in the gap, 8 feet long, and the swing 28 inches over the bed. I've taken a manual lathe, which I've been using, and I added one of MOF motion's controls to it. I've made components to assist with it, such as a steady rest, which is a 20 inch diameter part I could hold inside the tent uh, steady rest. Milling it to adapt to the machine. Once placed on, I was capable of doing short or long parts, all using the CNC control provided by Moth Motion. Here you see the steady rest boring. Now I'm going to be cutting apart. 6 inches in diameter, 41 40 heat treated, stress release material, taking 150 thou off per side or 300 thou off the diameter. With absolutely no problems, the servos are turning the ball screws to push that tool through there. And of course, I've got the horsepower to combine with it. So I'm getting nice kernel chips off of there. Successfully made two of these parts identical in about one quarter of the time normally taken. Had to drill through and bore it, open it up, cut a stub act and thread and edit four and a half inch ID. Put a chamfer on it. <coughs> and here I'm boring the other end. And there's the external stub act and thread for it with the O ring seals and the Screw seals. The two of four jaw stuck in and did some eccentric turning. This, of course, all done on CNC. There's the two completed parts. Screws inside, threads inside, external threading, internal grooves, external grooves. Had the control panel mounted on the arm that was supplied with it. take a one inch drill and do some test drilling.
circle. And again, there's a slight radius at the bottom of the bore, and then it spaces out. So it's putting the radius in, and now it spaces out. Again, the entrance of the bore was chamfered at a 45 degree. You can see this part here, I've already got the threads on it now. leaving a 0.5 radius in the bottom of it. Came up and finished the face. So I'm the owner of this machine. The software was by Mach, Mach 3, the turn version. Controls by Mach Motion. Ball speeds were supplied by High Wind. Andrew Eldridge of Mach Motion being all the support I needed and technical support I got from Dave. Software support from Brian Barker and the financial support from my loving wife. My grandson's helping me. Safety first, safety last. David Eldridge shop, Brian Barker in my shop, my latest control panel, this control box for the large blade, the covers off the back so I can still spin the Lindex on there. Lovely control panels, they are just so neat, robust, well put together. 